Oh man, look, it has been a while. It's been a while. What is going on, folks? It is K Spade the Prospect back today with a brand new NBA Live 18 video 3v3 gameplay, but I switched it up. Let me tell you what I did. I had gotten to the point that every time I was playing this game, I was playing it with randoms. And I still was having fun. I still was getting dubs. But I thought one day, I said, Self, imagine how much more dominant you would be if you came out here with a team. So that's what I did today, man. I came out here with my point shooter. I got two of the homies. I got Spark with me. I got Markel with me. And I'm going to be honest. If I was winning with randoms, I don't really see us losing the game. But I wanted to see just how fun it would be. I wanted to see how dominant. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get it back. Wait, 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 wait. Rain. Every game, same thing, it don't matter, let's go. Now, since it's been a while since I've uploaded over here, let me get you guys caught up with what's going on out here. I've got three characters on this game, right? I've got a wing shooter that I pretty much maxed out. That dude is the real life rainmaker. If you ever see him on your court, you probably just wanna back out. He ain't really missing no shots. He's got all the traits, he's a beast. I got a rim protector and I like that dude. Now, playing as a big gives me a different sense of satisfaction that allows me to be something that I'm not often like in every game I play I'm usually a shooter you know and I make rain that's what I do when I play with that big I get a chance to do something that's just not me and then both of those characters I had gotten to the point where I mean and look my rim protector isn't even maxed out but I just felt like I was I don't know, kind of OP, I was too powerful, so I wanted to start over, and again, I kind of wanted the challenge of doing something that I don't do a lot, so I made this little point guard right here, this little point shooter, he's shorter, he's faster, and it kind of made me want to get in the lab and try to get better with my dribbles, and I'm setting teammates up, I'm throwing flashy passes, I'm throwing oops, I'm doing it all. So in this gameplay right here, you see me still playing with my newest of the three characters, and I'm still just kind of having fun out here, just figuring this thing out. And I'm not even on front, y'all. I'm not even where I want to be with this with this guard. I mean, with this shooter. You know what I'm saying? The PG, I still ain't as nice as I want to be with him. But I'm I'm always nice enough to get the job done. <laughs> Don't mistake in that. The 3v3 addition to this game, I, it's one of the few times that I have to admit I was wrong. I want NBA rules, I want four courts, I want that in this game, I want it bad. I gotta be honest with you, I want it bad. So when I heard the rumors of them adding a 3v3 mode to this game, I wasn't really happy. I was like, no, like why are we going more arcade-ish? Let's get these four quarters. But fam, since this 3v3 mode been put in the game, I don't wanna play the 5v5 one that much. Like I, I don't really play it at all because I still kinda feel like the court's a little small for my liking. It still feels a little chaotic. People still kinda in everybody's way. Hold on, rain. Boy, when are they going to learn? Don't give me the corner three. Matter of fact, don't give me a shot at all. Just don't because I'm not going to miss it. I'm not. But the 3v3 mode in comparison to the 5v5 pro-am that they got in here now, I don't know it reigns supreme because the spacing on the floor allows you to, it just allows more freedom. And with freedom comes fun to me. It's two F words. Wherever it's freedom, you're going to find fun. And you see, man, speaking of fun, I'm throwing oops. I mean, it's 18 to 2, bro. Let you see why I play with randoms. It's 18 to 2. And I got two bigs on my team. Like, really, I don't even have any other shooters. Fam. Fam. So anyway, I decided to do something different with this video right here. We played, I don't know, I think we played about maybe five to eight games with this lineup. And we said, okay, let's switch it up. Markel said, look, I got a shooter that I'm working on. He's very low rated. He's in the 70s. I'll get my shooter, and I was like, cool, I'll get a big. Let me go get Vlad, and we'll come out here. Oh, okay, that's a nice little pullback. Okay, I see you. I see you. I was wondering if there was any life in that body. Okay, I see you. Finally got you a little bucket, huh? I'm going to just bounce past it over to Spark. Let Spark in this game, and for the next part of this video, we're going to switch it up. I'm going to go get my big. I'm going to show you all my versatility right here in this one video, right? You're going to get a chance to see. Just plug me in anywhere, man. I am a universe. I keep telling y'all. I am a utility knife. I'm one of them pocket knives, man. I got a, a knife, a fingernail clipper, a file, a spoon, a fork, a spork, a toothpick, you name it. Whatever you need me to do on the court, I got you. I got you. So I finished that game right there. Kind of good, y'all. Eight points, six dimes, 97 teammate grade. I'm like a nerd in here, and you can't copy off my paper. You can't. Now let's jump to me. Let me get my big, and I'm going to show y'all. Completely different gameplay, still a plug and play type of dude. All right, y'all ready for that? All right, let's get it. All 
All right, so you can see what I'm saying. I'm back now, I got Vlad. Spark only has his one player, his rim protector. So we still going two rim protectors, which who knows, might be the cheese. I don't even know, it might be the cheese. Markel went and got his shooter. Now the dude over here in the Hakeem Olajuwon jersey, you can't judge a book by his cover, but he looked like he bought that action. We're going to see. I don't know if he really is, but he, he looked like he hooped. I don't know. He got on he got on jeans, but we're going to see. He looked like he hooped. He ain't my matchup, but he better not come to that paint. When I bring my big out here, I feel like protecting that rim is my job. I don't care who rolls. My rotation defense is going to be on point, and I'm going to make sure it ain't, it ain't sweet in that paint. We almost gave up a layup. After I talked all that trash, we almost gave up a layup. Still on the entry play, like this possession right here is still the first possession of the game. What I say? Derry, boy, that mess up out of here. And they keep getting more opportunities. We gotta get a little bit better with getting some rebounds out here. And that might be my fault. I got a box out. I'm out here trying to get these block shots. So we give up the first two points of the game and I don't know if they ain't see your boy or, or, or whatnot, but they was a little slow getting back on defense. We gonna take the easy basket. No need to complicate it. If you gonna give me a wide open look, I'll take that. I'll take that. Especially with this big, it ain't like I'm really finna sauce you up or nothing. I just take the easy look. Now on defense, I was expecting these guys to run a lot of raps, and they really didn't. Like right now, it seems like their game plan is forcing it into the paint where we got two rim protectors. That ain't really gonna go your way. You gotta know how to play to the strengths of the bills that you got on the floor. And so far, it's still early. So far, they're not. Markel out there lurking that passing lane. I like it. Stepping back, pulling the three with defenders all over him. He don't care. He don't care. Oh man, now this look like it's gonna be a runaway game too. They better do something. You better do it quick. And I think they got a speed advantage at every position, but the biggest one. Like, that wing score was kind of rated low. So you could say maybe he don't have the advantage over me, but the point shooter, he's gotta give him a little bit more. And I ain't trying to be hard on him in this video, but he's got to give him a little bit more. He's higher rated, he's faster than his matchup. And if he can't get his own score, like if he's not being able to score himself, he gotta break the defense, get us to crash and help. And he's gotta create for his teammates. And so far in this game, he hasn't. There's still some time left. He might be saving it for, you know, the crowd. It's a nice little crowd out here in this 3v3 arena. Maybe he's waiting to turn it up. Tried to get himself a look right there. He don't really seem to have a great knowledge of the dribble moves. Kind of left right in a little bit and I ain't hating on him. If you don't know, you don't know. But sometimes you gotta find a build that better suits what you're good at and we gotta do a better job of rebounding. We got two bigs out here and we still doing a piss poor job of getting boards and on this particular play, my matchup was so dead set on getting back. I, I don't know what that was about. Like, I guess he just assumed they had the easy basket. He didn't really want to play any. I don't, I don't know what he was doing right there. Then when we finally did get the ball, he took off and wanted to come back. I don't know. 11 to two is starting to get to that point of the game where we about to start goofing off. Like once we know we got you, once we know it's not a game, now we throwing flashies and alley oops and all the other good stuff right there. Case in point, Markel throwing it up. Spark throwing it down. I don't know if they've patched in newer dunk animations mid cycle. Maybe they haven't. But I'm pretty sure on this run, I was seeing some dunks that I've never seen before. Maybe it's just some of the more rarer dunks that you don't see that often. Or maybe they actually added some new stuff. I don't know. 13 to 4 though, we definitely gonna try that mess again. And I'm kinda tight that I don't still have my point shooter. Cause I really could come out here and get loose with some of these passes. Markel, I owe you an apology for this one here. I'm not even gonna lie. When I look over there, the first thing my mind tells me is that's Markel's big. Because that's what I know him to have, that rim protector. So I couldn't fathom at the time why he was even out there at the three. And that's why I didn't give it to him. That's my bad, Markel. I got you. We come back. We throwing more oops. Bad on the receiving end of this one right here. Windmilling that guy home. I've seen that one before. That one ain't new. I still like it, though. 17 to 4, y'all. Like, I, I, I don't even know what to do, man. What I'm going to start doing is playing more. I got some homies, and I think the best thing for us to do is probably to just come out here and 3v3 private lobby this thing up. I think that might be the best thing for us to do because I don't know, man. I just don't really be, I don't even know how that went. Sometimes you just got the glow. Sometimes you just got the glow. But I don't know, man, when we jump in these lobbies, even though we still have fun, it's a part of me. I like to get my palms a little bit sweaty where I think I'm about to lose. Like, I, I need that moment, and I just flat out, I ain't seeing very many of them out here, y'all. I'm just not. You see Vlad with scoop layup. Easy peasy, man. Never was a point of that game when we felt like we was threatened. I don't know if it was a point in this run where we felt threatened. You know? I don't know, man. Hey, live players, when y'all see me in these lobbies, man, turn up. Give me your best bet because I, I want that. I'm weird. I want that. I want that comp. Anyway, folks, 
that's all I got for today. Look, I'm going to start back sprinkling some of these in the rotation. So if you enjoy it, let it be known. Bang that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm out the next time, though, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.